In most relationships between a narcissistic mother and her son, the mother creates what is known as an emotionally incestual relationship with her son. Yep. Where she makes her son the surrogate partner because his father isn't available to meet his narcissistic mother's needs. And this is what we call the son husband. Single mothers and everybody else, stay tuned. <laughs> What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tick on that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. You know what we're gonna do, say it with me y'all. We're gonna roll that clip. She will control her son in every aspect and make him dependent on her. She will create a trauma bond between herself and her son. And her son will feel guilty if he ever tries to leave his mother. The mother will sabotage everything that the son does in order to keep him close to her. The son will struggle to form healthy relationships and will struggle to leave home because of the guilt tripping the mother inflicts on him. Typically, this is what happens when a single mother raises a child by herself. The son becomes the husband. The son replaces what the woman needs in a man. They are for creating what we call a son husband. Don't believe me? Check this out. This is a post from the Queen of Accountability and says, Let's read the caption. So this woman is a single mother. She's posing with her son in a bad way. She has no time on with her son. And this right here is how son husbands are made. Let's read the caption. Hold God, send me a man. That'll love me forever. He sent me you on February 18th at 8.14 p.m. My E.J. Beyond Jr. was born. You stole my heart. This day, I looked into your beautiful eyes. You amazed me, and that will never change. Having you as a son has been one of the greatest gifts that life has given me. Mommy, love you unconditionally my first born my first love my one and only anyway y'all help me wish junior a happy birthday mommy love you today your day let's ball let's talk about the truth it's time for women to realize that what they are doing to their children is not right yep it is not right for a little boy to be put in a man's position. You know what I think is so sad? When a woman screams she don't need a man, then she'll treat her son as if he's her husband. Nothing is normal about calling your sons up late at night crying because you need to hear their voice. Oh, hey, son. I was sitting in the door crying. Oh, you which wife? Well, I said, hello. Guess I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. Some of these mamas buy a dress she think is sexy. She's stepping in front of her son, talking about, how oh, look. You would hold my body right. I feel ugly. No, mom, you look good. I do. Thank you, son. Your son's know when it's your time of the month. Because you're sending them to the store to buy your pads. Why don't you get your ass up and go get your own? Valentine's come around. I must be expecting chocolates, teddy bears, balloons. Not normal falling out with every woman that your son's introduced to the family. That's your son, and you need to act accordingly. 
It's not right. When you are a single mother, you have an obligation to treat this young little boy as his own individual person. However, when you deal with the concept of a son husband, you now remove that individuality and give him an identity of this is a man that I want him to be instead of the little boy becoming the man that he wants to be. So you not only have a son husband, let's go a little bit deeper, you have a build a bear project. You are building the perfect man for you through your son. Instead of you, the woman, taking accountability, saying, I messed up, going back out on the dating market to find a want to find a man that gives you the characteristics that you want. Instead of you doing that, your son becomes your husband. Stop it. Get some help. And in turn, your son is going to grow up with a lot of trauma, a lot of hurt, a lot of anger toward you. Because you were never his mother. You were his girlfriend. You became his lover instead of his mother. Which is unnatural. You are not his girlfriend. You are his mother. This is the reason why fathers in the home are very important. This is the reason why, as a woman, you have an obligation to make the best choice possible. Stop laying down with dogs and waking up with fleas and then complaining about the men aren't any good. No, the men that you deal with aren't any good. And because you don't want to take accountability, now you have a son husband. Stop it, ladies. It's time for you to learn that your son will never become the man that you want him to be. If you want a man, you got two choices. You can either go back with that child's father, and if you don't want to do that, you can put yourself back out on the dating market and try and get someone that is a man, not a little boy. Let your son have his own identity and grow up to be the man that he wants to be, not what you want him to be. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. And until the next video, peace.